So it's, it's Javante Tank Davis, an elite fighter. Let's talk about it. After Javante Davis's fight with Mario Barrios this past weekend, having questions on um, if Javante Tank Davis is an elite fighter. Um, well, I'll give my opinion on if I think he's an elite fighter or not. Tank Davis, man, um, up to date. Uh, the the Barrios fight surprised a lot of people because a lot of people thought that he was going to walk through Barrios. Um, I thought initially Barrios was going to hurt, was going to get him out of there. And then I had to go back and watch some of Barrios fights and just do some reassessments. And then I had Tank knocking him out. I got to go back and check on what round. I actually did say Tank get him out of there. I think I said, uh, shit, man, I'm not sure what round. I think I said six, seven. But, um, Mario Barrios proved to be a tough dude, bro. Rugged fighter. Solid chin, man. He was tank hit him with this one shot. And it his chin is it's like tank punched the wall or something, man. He didn't even nothing, man. He didn't move his head. It just he just like almost like tank punch bounced right off his head, off his face. It was it was it was amazing to watch that, man. Barrios is a he's a live dog, man. He just didn't have enough for Tank Davis, though. You know, um, Tank has been criticized for fighting, you know, light lighter dude, beating up on smaller dudes, having dudes move up to fight him, um, beating less less than competition, subpar competition. I think Pedraza was like his his most solid his win, most solid win. Um, pretty much until uh, Barrios. Um, but the question is: Is Javante Tank Davis an elite fighter? I think he is, man. I think he's an elite fighter. He's just he's being moved by Floyd a certain way that a lot of people don't don't like. Um, but I do see what Floyd's doing. I see what he's doing, man. I do. I like it. Um. He's making him a star. I mean, on, 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 if you want to talk about financial and the financial aspect, I guess it's, it's a very good move. Uh, Legacy-wise, man, I don't I don't like it. Um, a lot of people say uh, he's doing exactly what Floyd did in his early in his career. Um, I don't know, man, because Floyd was fighting better comp than Tank was number one, and I think. Uh, you know, you want to bring race into it, man. Floyd was fighting all type of fighters back then. He was fighting black fighters, you know, like Chop Chop. And he fought a lot of black fighters, man. I don't think Javante Davis has... Damn, man, I got I to gotta think, man. I'm, I'm trying to think how many black fighters is on Javante Davis's record, bro. Shit, man. And it's, it's odd because all of the black fighters that wanted to fight him... He never fought him. Tevin Farmer, that fight never happened. Gary Russell, that fight never happened. The Devin Haney fight, that's the, you know, I don't see that happening right now. Kind of weird, man. Kind of weird. I'm gonna make a video on that. I'm gonna go through Javante Davis's resume, and I'm gonna I'm gonna see how many black fighters on the resume. Because if it's not many or none, that's a little alarming. That's 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 telling right there. Floyd is not moving him like he moved himself. He's moving him in a, a more of a fan-based approach because he knows the Mexican fan base is huge and big. So he's not aiming, okay, yeah, let, 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 let's mix it up with some black dudes and um, black champions. He thinks the fan base for Mexicans is bigger. So that's clearly what he's doing with Tank. But that doesn't mean Tank isn't an elite fighter. I think... I think Tank is definitely um, a great fighter, man. He has all the tools, man. He has the power, the chin, the speed. The defense has improved on him. He, he just got to showcase it 
against people that's on his level, on his playing field. And then we'll get to see exactly how elite he is. But I think he is, he has elite skills, man. Can't say that he don't, man. Even though he's been fighting um, people that we didn't want to really see him fight, he still he has elite he has elite skills, bro. He got the skills. He got the chin. Um, he's a all he's a great athletic fighter, man. He's a great fighter. I think um, I said that he maxes out at 140, man. I might I might have to walk that back, man. I would say maybe Tank will max out at 147, man. He probably will max out there. He carries his weight well, you know. Um, so I think he'll fill out pretty good at 147. Um, and that's another video got coming, man. The future of 147. We're going to talk about that. But let me know what you think about Javante Tank Davis, man. Do you think he's an elite fighter? I think he is. Can't take that from the brother. Absolutely. Hands down. And I'm not even the biggest Tank fan, but I, I yo, you got to give credit where credit is due. You feel what I mean? So um, let me know what you think about this, man. Like, subscribe, support the channel share. I'll catch you guys later on the next one. This is Rebel Life Boxing. I'm off this.